You can't go a day in the world of business without hearing about environmental, social and governance investments. Now BlackRock says ESG investing will reach $1 trillion by 2030. Analysts at Morningstar say inflows to sustainable funds in the U.S. hit an all-time record of $21.5 billion in the January to March quarter of this year, more than double of what was seen in Q1 2020 and five times greater than the first quarter flows in 2019. Eric Lim, Chief Sustainability Officer at UOB, explains what's being done to push sustainability and ESG investments. Society is kind of pulling together across government, private sector, as well as individuals. But what we need is a common language of what sustainability means. And uh, in our space, what it really translates to is an agreed set of standards that we would use across various industries. 2020 obviously was a, a big year, right, where uh, there was a lot of disruption on the commercial front. Uh, the great news coming into 2021 is the region's rebuilding. And as uh, we think about what business models are transforming towards in a sustainable uh, future, there's a lot of assets that are going in that are green assets. Uh, companies are taking sustainability uh, way more seriously. So they're all coming up with the sustainable uh, roadmaps. And um, where we see uh, good progress is around two fronts. First, uh, large corporations that are very sophisticated and they know they have to go on this journey and are working with someone like us and our sustainable finance frameworks that are able to essentially demonstrate a proof point that uh, either green assets or sustainability roadmaps are of high quality are good enough to be able to access sustainable finance from, uh, from us, right? A second category of clients we see are the ones uh, who are starting the journey. Um, sustainability is a big and complex space, right? I mean, it has a lot of climate science in it. There are a lot of pitfalls if you're not uh, clear about what you're looking for. And again, with these frameworks, what we're able to do is make it, we simplify the start of that process. We, we help them reduce time and cost. And essentially, we make it simple and transparent in order to help them start the execution of their journeys, right? A, a good example of this, um, we have a program called Use Solar. And it's essentially an integrated full ecosystem play where we take supply side solutions that have been proven, bring it together with the power of the UOB balance sheet, and then we bring it to our customers, right? And uh, with a program like that, we're very focused on impact. It's not just about, you know, the headline numbers, but really the environmental impact. And I mentioned uh, before, um, either on this program or another one, that um, we've been able to so far take 77,000 tons of CO2, mm -hmm. of avoided CO2 uh, through a program like this. And that's equivalent to taking 17,000 cars off the road. Now, you multiply this over the useful life of a solar panel, which is 20 years, and that's a lot of uh, a positive environmental impact a program like this can bring to our communities.